First Morning Weather Chief Meteorologist Jeff Booth here. We know that the World Series is on Fox right now, and some of you want to get that weather at 10 o'clock, but we're going to have a game on. So we're going to post this on Facebook online as well so you can get that information and uh, get that before you head off to bed. Let's show you, though, uh, what we're dealing with. Right now, just keep in mind, this right now is taking place at uh, just after 920. So when you're looking at this radar, if you're looking at this uh, on our Facebook page a little bit later, just keep in mind, again, this is all what's going on at 920. But bottom line is we have been dealing with that rain throughout the really the afternoon into the evening and it looks like the rain is really starting to pick up and we're starting to see some of the heavier and steadiest rain that we've seen all day and right now we're tracking those yellows even a few reds that's where we have that heavier rain Salina New Bremen Wapakoneta Bell Center everybody getting inundated with rain it's not quite as heavy right now at least in Bell Fountain and Urbana but you can see we're looking at rain from Greenville down into Arcanum a little bit heavier just on the state line and then let's jump down to your street where you live in Springfield where we are seeing showers that are moderate along Fair Street. Here we have North Light Street, 68 right here. Get you an idea of the rainfall rates that we're seeing. This basically is how much rain we'd have if this sat in one place for an hour. We would be talking about the rainfall rates of around 15 one hundredths of an inch. So that's pretty healthy. And as we jump on over to Dayton, you can see downtown Dayton uh, along Stone Mill Road. We're looking at some of that more steady rain. Not quite as heavy along West 2nd Street, but again, you'll be tapping into some of that pretty soon. Uh, here we have Ray Street as well as Compton Street. Again, that moderate rain. Belmont looking at some of that action. And also some into Oakwood and Kettering if you head on down 48 and you can see some showers in Moraine that are on the more moderate side. We'll jump on over into Centerville and Bellbrook where the rain is a little bit lighter, but again, we will be kind of in and out of some steady to heavy rain at times as we head through the evening. Here we have 675 right here. You can see tracking that rain and then some more rain as well out through parts of Butler, Warren and Clinton County. Springboro about to get hit with some of that more moderate rain as well. And as we zoom out and we put our future radar into the motion uh, over the next two hours, we're going to watch this rain continue to move through here. Let's show you what's going on in the bigger picture because look at this. This is a system that stretches basically from the heart of Ohio, if not even northern Ohio, all the way down to the Gulf states, dragging up that moisture. So very expansive, and we're going to be dealing with several hours of rain, mainly through the overnight hours into the first half of your Wednesday. But even after the heaviest rain clears, it does look like we will be talking about some showers that will kind of linger on into the afternoon on Wednesday, maybe even a rumble of thunder. Here's your first warning satellite and radar imagery for the region. You can see that rain really picking up in intensity over the past few hours. And where we have these yellows and these darker greens, that's where we have that heavier rain and you can see we're just starting to tap into some of the heaviest rain that we've seen all day. So we are going to be in for some rain. It does not look like we have major flooding issues because this is falling over a really long period, but we are going to be dealing with some ponding on the road, some travel issues definitely for those of you who are going to be out and about late Tuesday night on into early Wednesday looking at that action. Now, a look outside from your Kettering Health Network sky cam at the Dayton City skyline showing those showers kind of popping up on that camera and temperatures really aren't all that warm. We are looking at 50 degrees, but this is pretty much the low for the night. We'll watch temperatures actually come up a bit. Notice those winds have started to shift to the east southeast. That'll start pumping in some slightly warmer air and it does look like we will watch temperatures rise a little bit as we head into the overnight hour. So let's walk you through this hour by hour. You can see midnight Wednesday night looking at a fair bit of rain again, still tracking some of that heavy rain at times and we're going to be in and out of the heavy rain throughout the evening and we're going to stop the clock here at seven getting ready to drive into work. We still have some moderate to heavy rain in some spots. So again, some travel issues will be out there if you're doing anything late on Tuesday night or if you're leaving for work early on Wednesday. In fact, it really doesn't look like this starts to pull out of here until sometime through Wednesday morning, if not even the early afternoon. Notice the so temperatures coming up a bit. We are looking at the upper 50s by lunchtime into the afternoon. We keep the clouds around, but notice a couple of showers will be possible. We'll stop the clock at at six though, low to mid 60s and all said and done again. We'll still have a couple of showers around by six o'clock, but the heaviest rain looking like all said and done as we kind of look at those rainfall totals of forecast anywhere from around inch to two inches across the area. But I do think there will be a few spots that are looking at a little bit more, especially in the south and the southeast and really the heart of the Miami Valley. I think kind of falls into that inch and a half to just over two inch swath, at least the heart of the area, not quite as much up in the far northwest, but you can see very impressive rainfall totals and again, and the good news is we need this, but it's also falling over a pretty long period of time. So it does not look like major flooding issues will be out there and we, we need the rain. Again, we're at a deficit for the month. Looks like our deficit is going to be all but erased by the end of the day on Wednesday. Again, a couple of showers linger, but then things finally dry out through the overnight hours into Thursday. We cool off considerably. 
We'll even get some sunshine on Thursday, and we are looking at kind of a breezy one and a much cooler day on Thursday. But 51 is the low tonight. Again, temperatures will be coming up as we head through the overnight. It's going to be breezy and nasty. The wind gusts easily up to 30 miles an hour. Heavy rain at times. One of those nights that if you, if you can, just stay indoors. If you have to go out early on your Wednesday, again, keep the umbrella handy. You can see at the bus stop, kids need that umbrella to start the day. A few showers linger on through lunchtime. Getting dropped off, though, can't rule out a spotty shower here or there, but the bulk of the heavier rain, bulk of that steady, scattered rain across the area should be out of here. Temperatures in the low 60s when those kids step off the bus. We're hitting 65 in Dayton, where you live tomorrow. Got that heavy rain early, 66 in Centerville, all the way up to 66 in Greenville. It's going to be a breezy and a wet day, just a kind of a nasty day to start, but then again, by the end of the day, it's feeling a little bit nicer, but we're still looking at breezy conditions. 53 on Thursday, a lot cooler and a lot breezier. Chilly start, 36 on Friday, but we're only up to 55. Halloween, though, past couple of Halloweens have not been that great. We are going to watch clouds build through the day. Temperatures, though, up into the upper 50s and low 60s, so not too bad of a day. Actually, about as nice as it has been, <laughs> and about as nice as you can be late October, so enjoy that. And then we got one of the best days of the year. We're falling back Sunday morning. Daylight saving time comes to an end. Temperatures climb into the low 60s. We're back in the upper 60s on Monday with a chance for a few of those lingering showers. And then by Tuesday, looks great. A high of 69.